All right, guys, welcome back to our Inside the Vault video series. Uh, this is Luca again from uh, Avangar Finance. Um, and in this part, uh, part two, we're going to talk about how to explore uh, our application from the main page. Uh, we're going to explore uh, the vault, the list of vaults. We have now more than a thousand vaults in our application. Uh, we're going to explore the asset universe to see what's, uh, you know, the investable spectrum of possibilities. Uh, we're going to talk about integrations, DeFi integrations that we have, and also a mention to uh, what's coming in the future. Uh, and then we're going to connect our wallet, sign up with our email, which is a new feature for version four. And uh, we're going to play around and see how uh, we can toggle around between different currencies uh, to display data also in a different way. Uh, so this is just the basic stuff, but it's uh, important to know. So see you inside. All right, uh, we're now landing on the uh, on the homepage, Enzyme.Finance, and from here uh, we can actually launch the uh, the decentralized application. Uh, we can see like if you're familiar with the uh, version three, um, uh, this a lot has changed. Uh, like the the new main page or homepage is much richer. There's a lot a lot of, a lot of additional things like um, yeah uh, like the most popular vaults. Uh, which are, are ranked by number of depositors. There's actually already like a, more than a thousand uh, vaults on Enzyme. So clearly we needed a way to show like the information a bit more organized. Um, so you can see the most popular vaults. You can see the top gainers uh, in, the, in, the, in the last 24 hours. Uh, you can see uh, the largest vaults. Uh, obviously in this case you have like our you know the project that uh, those projects that actually join forces with us or uh, are using enzyme like unslash finance or celsius x which take the, like, the top spots for largest vaults but you also have like the newest vaults so like the newborn on enzyme uh, so that's that's also give to give like visibility to the ones that just landed or just started to build on enzyme um, you can also go back and, and explore all vaults which uh, which is a way to really see like the thousand plus vaults that we have uh, here by default they're ranked by AUM but you can also rank them by uh, performance since inception uh, which gives you like a really like a sense uh, of who's performing like well over time uh, not just in the last 24 hours and you can also rank them by performance in the last month um, or you can also use the, these filters that allow you to have uh, for example like vaults that are like let's say minimum 1 million in uh, asset under management or that can be ranked in different ways by performance uh, so you can actually use these filters in a way that uh, is most interesting to you uh, if you're a depositor it's a way to actually find the perfect match i guess uh, where you can invest your uh, your your funds uh, and if you're actually a vault manager it's a way to do some research do some benchmarking analysis and see how the others are doing, what they're doing, what type of strategy they're employing, and so forth. So this is actually very interesting for both. Um, going back, we can actually explore uh, the assets. So it's not just uh, the vaults, but it's also the assets because it's interesting to see which assets are uh, available on Enzyme. Uh, we can see uh, like which uh, uh, so which which assets are available, which could be like normal assets that can be just swapped into, but also like pools uh, that are available, like Curve, Uniswap, um, you know, convex pools, you name it. So those are actually included in the asset uh, list. Um, you can actually rank them by AUM if you want to. Uh, so you can see like where most of the uh, of the funds are actually being deployed to uh it's interesting to see like see like what's being most uh, allocated to and uh, you can also see like uh the uh, like the like number of of tokens uh or like the uh, like the changes uh, in the last 24 hours to see what's being bought what's being sold uh for every for every asset so those are things actually that you can see, you can already uh, you can already do. I think you can you can draw some meaningful information out of it. Um, of course, if we go you know, into the Polygon version of it, it's important to notice that 
uh, yeah, like the, the number of assets that we have is, is significantly lower. Uh, we had around 250 or plus 200, like something more than a bit more than 250 for, for Ethereum. And we have around uh, 70, 80, I, I guess, on, on Polygon. So we have a bit of a, uh, of a lesser selection, but uh, certainly uh, quite uh, the amount that is available on Polygon at the moment. Um, now, yeah, uh, we've looked at the yeah we've looked at the uh, at the uh, how to explore vaults, how to explore uh, how to explore assets. We can now go back maybe for a second to Ethereum, and we can explore uh, DeFi integrations. Uh, this is actually uh, where we see like what's being integrated. Uh, I gotta say, there's something a few are, are missing, so we will still have to update this, but we will keep that up to date. Uh, we could also add one section where we have like the upcoming uh, protocols that, that are being worked on and are actually due to audits for uh, for the next uh, for the next uh, addition. So I think that's interesting to you for you to follow uh, to follow what's going on and what's coming next uh, on Enzyme. All right. So uh, next, I would like to show you how to how to to, to use it to connect your wallet because that's the first you can, thing you can do. Uh, yeah, so you, you would connect a wallet. Uh, uh, of course, you need to have uh, a wallet like MetaMask already installed on your browser. And another thing you can do is actually uh, signing using your email. So with the version four, uh, we all, we all, of course, we have the Web3 classic, uh, you know, like connecting with wallets, uh, but we also uh, included, um, uh, we also included another way uh, which is, for example, this one, uh, which is just uh, uh, with, uh, for example, a Gmail account or whatever. Uh, if you want to use something else which is not Gmail, you can actually connect. Uh, I should have received an email. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, I mean, this is like quite simple and basic stuff. You can just uh, create an account with your email and this will allow you to uh, actually um, have have a, a, an email account connected to it. Uh, you might think it's not relevant, but sometimes when we have to communicate some important things like assets are deprecated uh, or other things that are relevant, uh, both for depositors and for uh, and for uh, asset manager, vault managers, uh, I think it's important to have a, uh, to have an email. For example, there was this this very week. Uh, there was a, a, Messari, a Messari analyst that wants to make a report about like the best performing asset managers. But of course, not having all the emails available, we cannot really contact him. So I think it's a missed opportunity for some of them um, that uh, maybe wanted to be featured some featured on Messari, but could, you know will, will not have a chance because we have no way to get in touch. So I think this is a this is an important uh, feature. Uh, it's, a, it's sort of Web two but uh, I think it's actually quite relevant uh, to include. Uh, next, we're gonna go and, uh, I think we're gonna go and uh, check out one of these uh, vaults. And I think, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take simply the most uh, popular vault at the moment with uh, around like 146 uh, depositors, which is called Siva. And this is actually just uh, for me to show uh, that you can actually toggle between um, different currencies. So you, you now have the performance over time. First thing you can do, you can see uh, the share price. Uh, you can see uh, also the asset under management uh, of this of this vault, which is around 2 million. Uh, and going back to the share price, uh, you can see the evolution of the share price in the last, uh, starting from the last day, all the way to the last six months. I mean, there's no, there's not done more than six months history on this. Um, this vault, but you can see uh, like different time frames, and you can also see like how this is performing versus, uh, for example, Bitcoin. Uh, so you can change really that you can toggle the, the, the denomination of your reporting, uh, and you can switch like from USD uh, to, uh, for example, Bitcoin or Ethereum, which could be a very interesting reference to see like how the fund is actually doing over time compared to these benchmarks. All right. So, and then of course you can going back to uh, USD. And here you would see um, 
like the portfolio of, of this um, of this vault, uh, which is now 50% on Bitcoin and 34% USDC and 11% on Dai. So this is like some of the basic stuff you can do. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna talk about uh, really how to go and create your own vault. Uh, so stick around because uh, it's a, it's a it's a process that you don't want to miss if you want to get it right. So this is just to have an like a, like a, a very simple overview of a vault and uh, how you can play a bit around with it. And next in the next video we're gonna create a vault actually on Polygon. And uh, yeah, so let's 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 go about it and see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.